Saturday night, seven o'clock. Talksport has you covered. It doesn't get much bigger than that. Wow, I'm excited. Now we're gonna build up to that massive game. We're gonna do it all week, of course. And for the next half an hour, not just one section, but two whole sections we have now Hope been joined this. and blessed, <laughs> blessed <laughs> by Seriously. a French football expert. And his name <laughs> is Julian Rons. We broke the bank. We did, we did, we did. So it's okay, I'll give you a discount. <laughs> we actually have to send Ali home after this because <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford him anymore. On economy, by the way. <laughs> How Julian. are you this morning? Hello, very good. Thank you for having me Great. again. Thanks Good for coming on. You. Thanks for coming and spending two sections yes. with us. Um, okay, last time I spoke to you, you said that England were favourites, and I know what you were trying to do. No, no. I went and thought about it for a while, and I thought, that's cheeky. Um, <laughs> because I asked Coral, and they said, no, 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 France are favourites. Really? <laughs> France, the current world champions, you guys are favourites. Mm. Has anything changed since the last time we've spoken to you? How's the mood of the nation? How's everyone feeling? The mood is very confident, which, again, I am a bit... Um, no, worried about not. because as we said the other day I think one of the issues potentially for this team is to be too confident and Ooh. a bit arrogant which is what we have in our DNA so <laughs> I guess it's a bit normal <laughs> but still um, Kylian Mbappé didn't train yesterday and I was at the Morocco game and suddenly my phone literally exploded with messages and where is Kylian and why is Kylian not there and why is Kylian not there and all the English journalists or people saying like is there a problem with Kylian this is great for England uh -huh. <laughs> we were told that he was just in a recovery session that he didn't take part of training but there was nothing to worry about um, so so I'm sorry for English fans and you believe that of course yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay just checking because I, I wasn't sure if it was a smoke screen or what was going on um, okay fine so let's look at the lineups then together and the way that they've played mm. because France so far you're right it's almost like everything's sort of been looking fairly straightforward they made changes in the last group game so didn't really feel that that was necessarily a good reflection of them um, no Benzema are you quite confident in the team that you've got at the moment you've got Giroud that's just broken the no. record and obviously Mbappe looking great in ballet you're very confident with that front line yeah I think I think this 11 is good it's funny because they arrived in this competition and the, they just opened the jigsaw box really mm. because of all the injuries Pogba yep. and Conte take Pembe, then they lost Karim when we just arrived here and then Deschamps had to almost start again with that jigsaw and he put the pieces but it was still a question about will all those pieces fit together what about Griezmann in that number eight position mm. then Bele on the right hand side what do you do with your back four could you still go with the back three all that Rabio and Young Chouameni and then the pieces are fitted very nicely together now this is a big test this is the biggest test that we've had in this competition more than Denmark more than Poland those kind of teams so let's see if the, if, if the jigsaw can travel and, and, and can st stay stick together. Sure, how, how confident are you? Because everybody, understandably, is talking about the we've got a battle, whether it's a, it turns out in the night with, with Kyle Walker and Mbappe. How, mm. I, I, however, I think the other areas in the same position are equally important. Shaw against Mbele, I think, is yeah. massive. But in a defensive situation, Kundi and Hernandez, how confident are you that they can handle the threat of England in wider areas? But that's another key of the game anyway, because so. the, our weaknesses will be there anyway. Not yeah. Theo, not so much because he's, he's really, really good, especially going forward. But for Kunde, a right back, is is untested. This is not his best position because he's centre-back, yeah. really. And he hasn't been playing well. Really. I mean, the, the necklace story the other night was... I, I, since, since we've been playing football yeah. when we were kids, every, you can't have rings. <laughs> on and then the guy plays a World Cup last 16 with his necklace on. I'm like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, I think Foden or whoever plays on the left for England and Saka on the right against Theo will also be, like for Mbappe and Walker and Dembele and Shaw, one of the keys of the game. Yeah. Is that, if you look at both sides, where would you say the biggest battle is going to be? It has to be midfield. Mm. Uh, apart from yeah. the Kylian Walker matchup, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. And Walker, like we said the other day, cannot defend against Kylian on his own. Yeah. He, will he will need Stones Henderson. or Henderson, yeah. exactly. Maybe even Saka to follow Theo. Yeah. But then it's, it's those 3v3, I think. Bellingham and it's a perfect rise. matchup, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a brilliant matchup. The two and the one, the one, the two. Exactly. It's and Griezmann in that position, again, he's yeah. done great. But this is new for him. And if he can cause problem to Rice and Bellingham especially by yeah. finding little space there and there. His movement, his intelligence, I think that could be also a key. How much does, does Griezmann get underestimated because the focus is on Kylian Mbappe and if Kylian's drawing two people towards him and you're giving Griezmann a load mm. of space and he starts to Very cause clever. problems, what's, <laughs> what's going to happen? And you know what, I was talking about the jigsaw at the start, it, for him at 31, so he's not that old. You've seen mm. all the players maybe 
starting as a winger and then dropping a bit yeah. because they didn't have the legs yeah. anymore. But at 31, really in his prime, for him to move from a second striker to a number eight position mm -hmm. and do so well mm -hmm. in the World Cup, I think he's credit to how intelligent he is and the talent that he has. And But this is, again, a big test. Because when did that move happen, nice. Julian? Because... Uh, had it been had it been a plan or did it just sometimes you know sometimes midfielders got front to score goals mm. went forward uh, uh, that's been something that's been planned for two, so two years ago Deschamps saw him one day at breakfast and said to him you know what I've been thinking about you you could do a, you could be a great number six you could be a great mm -hmm. holding midfielder and Griezmann was a bit like wow <laughs> and Deschamps said to us look he's got everything to be a, a number eight mm. he runs a lot he works hard he's very unselfish technically super gifted he sees the game so well he's so intelligent Number eight in that sort of hybrid position is perfect for him. Mm -hmm. And I think Deschamps waited, and now with all the injuries, he thought, OK, let's go for it. You know the way that we lord Kylian Mbappe? Um, obviously, he's been around a lot longer. But we look at Jude now, and we, mm. and we go, perhaps he is our version of a superstar, yeah. different position, but is he the guy that's coming through? Are the French intimidated by, by him in, in a similar fashion that we are by Kylian, or perhaps just a slightly lower level? The French are worried more by your attacking power mm -hmm. and the depth in your squad, which we don't have, for example. Yeah. If you can bring on Rashford and Grealish and Sterling if he's back and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. But Bellingham is, is literally like everybody in France is loving him. And mm -hmm. I've said at the start of the competition, for me, Rice and Bellingham is the best sort of midfield pair in this, in this competition. Better than Casemiro and Paqueta, better than Modric and Brozovic, mm -hmm. better than Tremini and Rabiot, those kind of guys. But Bellingham is the is the jewel, absolute jewel. Yeah. Do, you okay. know, do you do you think that there's any psychological advantage with the French due to the fact that you've been there before, you've been over the course and distance before, whereas England haven't really? Yeah. I think I know England have final and semi final in the last big tournament, which is huge. But since I think nineteen sixty six they haven't beat any yeah. of the big team in the knockout stages of, of, of any World Cups really. It's like Colombia or Sweden, those kind of teams. Yeah. And I think, I think the, that kind of experience could be, could be a big factor.